I'm Tuffy Stone, and this is my marinated flank steak with a peanut ginger dipping sauce. I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite marinades that I've been making for over 20 years. This recipe that I'm gonna make is a, a cup and a half of soy sauce, a cup and a half of mirin, a quarter cup of chopped garlic, and a quarter cup of black peppercorns. We're just gonna put it all in a container, mix it up. Now just put it in your refrigerator or cooler, let those flavors melt for about 24 hours. All right, so we made our marinade. It's in the refrigerator. It's gonna sit over there overnight while those flavors develop. I've got this beautiful beef flank steak here. It's one of my favorite go-to cuts. I see some striations of fat in there. It's gonna be less expensive than ribeye, New York strip, or filet, but it's still gonna have that nice steak-like chew. We're gonna cut off some of the silver skin on both sides, maybe a little bit of the fat, but very little knife work to do to it. So just when you work your knife, you just wanna kind of like don't cut deep, just cut shallow cuts. We can always take more away, but we can't put it back. So I've trimmed my flank steak. This is the marinade that we made yesterday. I'm just gonna pour some of the marinade over the meat, get one side, flip it, get the other side. All right, so I coated both sides with my marinade. Uh, it's gonna marinate in the refrigerator for about one hour, but after 30 minutes, I'm gonna flip it so it'll be 30 minutes on each side, then we'll remove it and get our grill ready to go. This dish takes me back 20 years ago, but anyways, we've already marinated the flank steak. That's getting ready to come out. Now we're gonna make the sauce that I like to pair with this dish. It's a peanut ginger sauce. It's got soy, it's got lime, it's got some rice wine vinegar. So we're gonna start by adding five ounces of toasted peanuts to our blender. What I have here is a tablespoon and a half of microplane fresh ginger one clove of minced garlic, a teaspoon and a half of sugar, half teaspoon of crushed red pepper, one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of fresh squeezed lime juice, add three quarters of a cup of water. Finishing step for this is to puree until it's uh, completely smooth. I find that the sauce is better tasting if it's refrigerated overnight. If this is too thick for you, just add a little bit more water a little bit at a time till it gets to the consistency that you're looking for. So my flank steak's been marinating for one hour in the refrigerator. It's time to remove. I'm just gonna brush off with my hands the peppercorns and the fresh garlic, dry it out, let it sit on this tray and get my grill ready to go. So I am gonna grill my marinated flank steak. I am gonna start off direct grilling, but this soy marinade, when it gets really hot, it can caramelize and burn on you. So if for some reason it starts to get too dark, I've got this grill set up two zone, hot coals on one side, no coals on the other. Some people would say I talk too much. Others might say I'm a storyteller, but uh, a story about this dish, I'm gonna bust on myself. So my catering company, I was cooking 80 pounds uh, of this exact recipe one time, 80 pounds of flank steak. And I'm here to tell you, use a kitchen timer. I ruined uh, 80 pounds of beef flank steak overcooking it years and years ago. So anyways, just watch it closely. Sometimes I'm asked whether you cook with the lid down or up on your grill. Really depends on what you're cooking. I mean, if I'm cooking a pork butt or a brisket or a rack of ribs, I'm gonna cook with the lid down because I want that to, to, to be a, a lower temperature, longer cook. And so by controlling that exhaust, I can, I can keep that fire going at a little bit lower temperature. But when I'm grilling steaks, pork chops, hamburgers, things that are gonna be a quick cook, direct grilling, um, I go back and forth. Sometimes it depends on the ambient temperature. If it's really cold outside and it's in the winter, I might leave the lid on just to keep that grill hot. Uh, if it's a thick steak, I might put the lid down. And if it's a skinny pork chop, I'm not gonna put the lid down at all. It's just gonna be paying attention, watching it. Flipping is necessary and cook to the desired doneness. So I'm temping my flag steak. It's reading about 126 degrees in the thickest part. Some of the thinner parts of the flank steak will be more done than that. 
but when you're feeding a large group of people, you may find somebody that likes it medium over medium rare or rare. So my flank steak is off the grill. I cooked it to about 126, 127 degrees. Some of the thinner areas are more done than that. I'm letting it rest. I've got my peanut ginger sauce. One of the things that's really important when we slice flank steak, you can see the grain is running this way. When I go to make my slices, I want to cut against the grain. It's going to make for a much better chew. So now that it's cut up, I'm just gonna take a piece, dip it in the sauce, see how I did.